Hey everyone, it's me, Coach Mac. I hope you enjoyed some of that breath work as we are our warm up. I'm so ready to put our breath practice into our movement today, which is yoga. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's fine. Find any clear space, enough so maybe if you stood up and put your arms out, move side to side, you wouldn't hit anyone or anything else. Once you found that nice big space, go ahead and stand up nice and tall. As you stand up nice and tall, start to think about your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles being one long, strong line to get you to stand as tallly and as proudly as you can. Pull your shoulders down your back, energize through those fingertips. Take a big breath here, just as we did before. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up nice and high, let the fingertips touch at the top. Exhale through heart center. Inhale, bend the knees, big sweep up. Exhale through heart center. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep those arms up nice and high again. Exhale through heart center. This time, bend the knees. Hinge forward, big fold, 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 all the way down. Beautiful. Inhale, let your hands glide up your shins and press into them. Start to come into a halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Building a little strength. Now, this time in your high plank, I'm going to give you a few options. Maybe you hold that strengthening high plank, and then you shift up to your down dog. Maybe you try a yoga push-up called the Chaturanga. Maybe you'll drop your knees, hug the elbows in towards the ribs, and slowly lower all the way to the ground. Maybe that will be the perfect option for you. Maybe you're ready for your full Chaturanga, coming into the high plank, and then using your entire body to lower in a push-up, elbows hugging, hugging, hugging back. If you made your way down to your belly, inhale, cobra pose. Roll the shoulders back, press down through the tops of the feet, hug the elbows back, push the earth away, breathe here. <sighs> Inhale, find a little more length. Exhale, lower. Shift through a tabletop, come into your down dog. Beautiful work. Breathe in your down dog. Slide forward into that high plank, drop your knees, and land in your tabletop. In your tabletop, give your feet a little pat, pat, pat on the back of the mat to wake them up. Push the earth away a little more. Beautiful. Get a nice, strong tabletop, maybe like one that would be next to your sofa or your bed, just like a nightstand or a coffee table. Now start to wag your tail. Yeah. And let that feel really good in your hips. Beautiful. Come back to stillness. This time, let your belly get really heavy. Start to pull your heart forward. Come into your cow pose. Exhale, push, push, push the earth away. Let the head become heavy. Cat pose. Inhale for your cow. Maybe you say, moo, like a cow. Exhale for your cat. Maybe you say, meow, like a cat. Take one cat, one cow, and then meet me in a downward-facing dog. Tuck those toes. Pick your hips up nice and high. Beautiful. Two more big breaths here. All right, we're going to build on everything we've been doing before we slow it down for a little meditation. Go ahead and let your right leg float. Inhale, exhale, step that right foot through your hands, drop your back knee, rise into your low lunge. Let those arms come up. You can keep this back toe tucked or flat, whatever feels good. But let your hands come to your hip. Take this right hip and start to pull it back as your left hip comes forward. Bring those arms back up, shoulders down, beautiful. Find a nice big stretch in the front of that left leg here. 
maybe you goal post the arms and let that heart space shine forward. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands next to your foot. Press down through the left hand. Heel open to the right. Get a nice twist in. Inhale. Exhale. Frame that foot once again. Bring your hand down. Step it on back. Big down dog. Beautiful. Let's do that other side. Go ahead and let your left leg float. Inhale. Exhale. Step it on through. Drop the right knee. Keep the toe tucked or untucked, whichever works perfect for you. Rise into your low lunge. Bring your hands to your hips to readjust. Pull this left hip back. Right hip shines forward. Bring those arms back up. Shoulders down. Stay here while you get that stretch in the front of your right leg. Or maybe cactus the arms heart forward. Continue to create that scissoring action of your legs. The forward and backward pull. Let it feel really good. Frame your foot. Bring those hands down. Press down through the right, heel open to the left. Stay here and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hand down, step it on back, downward facing dog. In your down dog, push the earth away, pull those hips back. Drop your knees. Let them become nice and wide like your mat. Let your big toes touch. Shift the hips back. Come into a nice big child pose. Melt forward. Take this time to reconnect with your breath. Start to walk your hands back towards your body. Maybe sit back on your heels to get a nice big quad stretch here. Bring your hands together at heart center or maybe over your heart or maybe just resting on your thighs, whichever feels perfect. Take an inhale, feel those lungs grow and stretch. Exhale to release. Thank you so much for joining me for this yoga practice, my friends.